Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in this week's video, I'm going to talk about some sketching tips inside of Autodesk Inventor, slice graphics, and project geometry. Two tools I think are sometimes overlooked. So let's go ahead and get started. Here on my screen, I have a cylindrical model, and I want to cut an internal feature, such as an O ring groove or something similar, but I can't see inside the part to make the cut. Now I could go to the View tab change my visual style to wireframe for example, but there's another way you can do it and I think it's a lot easier to do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create my sketch and I'm going to use the XY plane in this case. Once the sketch is created, I can right click and choose the option to slice graphics. Alternately, the hotkey is F7. An inventor will give me a virtual slice of my part and now I can see inside without any trouble or changing view settings. Now I want to project geometry that I can use to build my references and I've got two choices. One is to project geometry where I can go ahead and project out geometry from other edges of my part that may not be on the sketch plane. I also have project cut edges which is really handy with slice graphics. When I choose that, Inventor will project any of the edges that have been cut by the slice graphics that I've used. And remember, this is a virtual cut. I'm not cutting anything, but Inventor can still use those virtually cut edges. Now I can go ahead and draw whatever shape I need and revolve that. And now I've got my slice. The part returns to normal, and just like that, I can create that it's a lot easier to do, so I highly recommend using it. That's it. This week's a simple tip, but I hope it's one you find useful. We'll see you next week, everybody.